Welcome everyone. This lecture series is about uh, Ra Chaudhuri equation and its importance. And some people call it Ray Chaudhuri and um, most Indians call Ra Chaudhuri. I'm not an Indian so I don't know the exact pronunciation but I go with Ra Chaudhuri equation. So Ra Chaudhuri equation and its importance. Now uh, this is the equation and don't worry, I, I know most people will, will not know what this is. That's why you are here. Um, we are going to go through this equation in a simplified manner. We are not going to go uh, with mathematical rigor that, you know, some textbooks, you know, most textbooks would do. We are going to leave out all the rigor. We are going to explain in a simplified manner. And I require you to know a little bit of calculus. And, um, and some geometry, and, you know, if you know Riemannian geometry, fine. If not, that's okay. So, you would, so why is this equation important? Okay, by the way, this is Amal Kumar Rachaudhuri, and he came up with this equation in 1955. Now, why is this equation is important? I mean, why is this? This equation is coming, becoming more and more important in black hole physics. Now black holes are confirmed. You know this is a picture of a real picture of a black hole and the people who you know got this picture uh, got the Nobel Prize. You know this is a real picture of a black hole and as the center is something called singularity and used to be people used to say the singularity has volume equals zero and people say zero volume. But now, most people say volume is undefined. You know, that would be more, it is like zero by zero is undefined. Zero by zero is not zero or infinity or we don't know what the hell that is. So what's happening here is singularity. The equations break down. Einstein's field equations break down. And we don't have any other equations. Um, you know, we're working on quantum gravity and all that, but there's, there's so singularity is a place where we don't know what the hell is going on, so we want to know. So, more and more data coming in, more and more theories coming in. All these theories uh, have to be using most of it, I would say, I don't know at all, using Amal Kumar Ray Chowdhury's equation and this equation. This equation comes into prominence for singularity problems. So new theories that's going to come up with singularity, where as I said, the volume here at the center is undefined. You know, let's call it that way instead of saying volume is zero. So the matter falls in and goes into a situation where we don't know what the volume is. The equations break down you know, Einstein's field equation breakdown. So, people will be looking into new theories. Theories that would explain to us what's going on here. You know, that's the goal right now most physicists who are working on black hole physics are trying to do. And our equation, Ra Chaudhuri equation, comes into prominence for this research. And not only in black hole physics, another thing, this is the Big Bang. I would assume everybody knows about Big Bang. Oh, by the way, this is not a real picture of the Big Bang. This is a real picture of a black hole, but this is not a real picture of the Big Bang. Um, so the Big Bang model says, you know, right now the universe is expanding. And in the past, yeah, there was a period called inflation, you know. Well, let's not worry about that now. And Equations break down. Einstein's equations break down. I think 10 to the minus 32 seconds or something like that. Here, I think here. The equations, Einstein's equations break down. And what happens here? The volume, all that undefined, we don't know. So people are doing a lot of research, you know, quantum gravity and this and that, um, string theory, string theory models and to explain the Big Bang and what, you know, as I said, our, all our equations break down somewhere around here. Um, 
so new equations we need new theory so the new theory contenders are string theory quantum gravity supersymmetry all that stuff so these new theories um how you know amal kumar ray chaudhuri's equation ray chaudhuri i keep saying ray ray chaudhuri's equation um is important for these new theories and they may be using it some some may not but the importance of ray chaudhuri equation is growing due to the breakdown of equation present equations near the big bang so that's why this equation has gaining prominence ray chaudhuri's equation is gaining prominence in physics you get to see references to it more and more and here's um someone has written this i got it from the internet in general relativity the ray chaudhuri equation plays a significant role to explain the space time singularities and gravitational focusing in cosmology so with these things we are going to if you listen to the lecture series you you are going to we are going to go go through this and then he says the first mention of the term ray chaudhuri equation appeared in research paper pu- published in 1965 and then he goes on to say and then and he says that um, there is such wide acceptability of this equation like other notable equations in physics like the dirac equation and the schrodinger equation and um and then he would go on to say it would be find its place in venerable textbooks on general relativity the equation will stand firm so long einstein's general theory of relativity stands now this is this is this is, this, is, this this statement is totally wrong because the equation was derived in the context of einstein's general theory of relativity but it is not no if you listen to my series you would know that this this statement is st- wrong even einstein's general theory of relativity is proven wrong we still could use the ray chaudhuri equation you know you would you would see that if you follow the my series and it, it's it's been used for fluid mechanics structural analysis which has nothing to do with uh, general theory of relativity and quantum um quantum uh, gravity you know quantum gravity is not is is, a, is under research but uh, equation is more of a general equation uh, it was derived in the context of uh, general theory of relativity with the singularity problem in mind but that has nothing to do with the uh, equation itself it's more general it's more ge- geometry it's more geometry let's put it that way it's a geometry you know riemann geometry has nothing to do with general theory of relativity general theory of relativity could be proven wrong but we are the riemannian geometry going to be around because that's not that's not going to be proven false so similarly ray chaudhuri equation is geometry it's a ge- geodesic something called geodesic a uh, congruence and these things you will we if you listen to my series you would do uh, understand that anyway this is the table of contents so first we are going to go into general overview of einstein's field equations and then we are going to talk about schwarzschild solution to einstein's field equations and the singularity problem okay when the schwarzschild solution came we immediately had the singularity problem the volume becomes zero or undefined and then we will talk about chandrasekhar's limit that the stars compress and gradually disappear volume becomes zero or undefined and then the geodesic the pathway in a uh, einstein's theory of relativity where the planets and all the matter goes through in a path called geodesics and in f- part 5 we will talk about the ray chaudhuri equation and the pendulum problem and then we will go into geodesic congruence 
and then the Ra Chaudhuri equation in detail with related to cosmology and physics. And then finally, we will talk about the Ra Chaudhuri equation applications, including the singularity problem. So, as I said, I'm not expecting a whole lot of uh, knowledge, you know, some little calculus would be enough. Hope you will follow the series. Thank you very much for listening.